Okay. Coordinate diagram shows partially on 22. Route the core. Two points P and Q are marked on it. Find the coordinates of P. Okay, P is minus 1, 3. Uh, the equation of the line PQ is that. Use this or otherwise find the coordinates of the point where PQ crosses the Y axis. So you just have to put Y equal to 0. Uh, sorry, I mean to say put X equal to 0 to find out where it crosses the Y axis. So it's going to be 20 divided by 7. Yeah, yeah, that's a decimal. So I leave it as 20 over 7, I guess, since it doesn't say anything about the decimals. Use this or otherwise find the coordinates of the point where the line PQ, that's its equation, crosses the y-axis. So you make x is 0, 2.8. Yeah, that does look like about 2.8 there. A uh, new road is being built at 6.2. On the coordinate diagram, we a straight line segment which is perpendicular to PQ. Work out the equation of the new road, 6.2. Yeah, well, we'll have to get the slope first here. So by rearranging this, we can have 7y equals minus x plus 20. So you divide by 7, you can see that the slope is minus 1 over 7. So for the perpendicular line, it'll be 7. So that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that's y minus 2 equals 7x minus 42. So that's 7x minus y minus 40 equals 0. The distance PQ on the diagram is 7.1 centimeters. Correct one decimal place. 5 millimeters on the diagram represents 100 meters. Work. Use this to work out the actual distance P to Q. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so P to Q is 71 millimeters, 7.17 centimeters. But 5 millimeters represents 100 meters. So if I multiply, divide that by 5 millimeters and multiply it by 100 meters, uh, the answer would be 1,420 meters. Or in other words, 1.42 kilometers. Okay, that's today's question three done. Let's have a look at four.